getting better and better and better. And let me tell you something about the survival band. Um, they're supposed to be jamming here at the Freedom Park maybe once a month. I hope now they will start jamming at the Freedom Park once a month. They are very busy professionals. At the Freedom Park, there are so many activities that go on every day, every month, every year. And maybe the course of this uh, particular you know, event will let you know. In the meantime, in between time, um, Lekon Babona, they are getting ready. And I believe you want to say one or two things about um, well, if Whatever. you're here and you want to get a souvenir so you can take a home, you can take home and give to people. We have shirts. Um, they go for 2,500 only. And of course, if you have a VIP ticket, you can as well go to... Um, yeah, the Congress Harvest. Harvest. You can go there and relax and, you know, get refreshed. But we are here and we're enjoying ourselves too. And it's getting better and better. And of course, we have all the stages. There are five stages. So you can go around and have a bit of a lot of jazz and jazz related tunes. Now, let me tell you another thing too, just before as um, Local Babylon and his um, band get ready. For those of you coming here for the first time, this is so many prominent Nigerians who were trying to fight for our independence. People like Herbert Macaulay, people like Obafemi Awolowo, and so many other prominent Nigerians were locked up here. So I would suggest that um, maybe sometime during the week or during the day, you can take a look around. There's a museum over there where you can see the pictures, the history of Freedom Park. This is a historical ground. We want to give a great thanks to somebody, but I'll not mention his name yet, for the vision of preserving a place like this. Most places like this in Nigeria, they turn into five, stars, five star hotels. But this is a place of history. This is a place where you understand that some people had to fight for the freedom that we are having here right now. And um, like I said before, this is, and which of course you know, the Lagos Jazz Festival 2015. It will be happening every year henceforth. This is not the first one. They had to take a little break so that they could get some logistics right. The most important thing too, that those of you in the corporate world, try as much as possible to sponsor events like this. You know, it's one thing for you to go and sponsor an event for your money, for your money on about the Lagos International Jazz Festival, it is a, a place for us to showcase our culture. So if you're just coming to Nigeria for the first time and you want to have a feel of our culture, this is a place to be. And of course, you you know, want to take one or two CDs so you can also take it across and let people know and have a feel of jazz in Nigeria. Right now, we are getting set for Lekan Baba Lola, but just still to remind you that we have other stages you can go to and enjoy jazz related tunes. And of course, we have the VIP lounge there too. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Lekon Baba Lola. Lekon Baba Lola, like, you, um, like the other band says, two times Grammy Award winner, part of a particular band, I must say. Now, Lekon has traveled all over the world with his music. He does a kind of sound which he calls the Lagos sound, the echo sound. With horns, brass, all sorts of, um, uh, you know, uh, instruments. Now, I can assure you that you, you will come, front of this, come in front of this stage. You don't need to be behind the barriers anymore because uh, actually, I think the camera has been elevated so you can come right as close to the stage as possible Make sure that you feel the vibe. This event happens only once a year. There, let me tell you something else too, which of course you know, there are other jazz festivals going on around Lagos, around Nigeria. But this is the foremost jazz festival that will happen in Nigeria. You'll get to know about it a little bit later when we bring on uh, the managing director of, uh, what's that company again? Inspiro, right? Inspiro, yeah. Yes, and we'll explain to you how he went to South Africa to the, what do you call it, the Cape Town Jazz Festival, and decided that we need a jazz festival in Nigeria. Our, most of our radio stations are not doing music justice. They're playing the same thing all the time. And they forget, in Lagos we have almost 21 million people. Not everybody wants to listen to hip hop. It's good. 
Not everybody wants to listen to reggae. It's good. But there are several people that want to listen to jazz music. And this is a platform for you to listen to jazz music and great music. Now, while Lakon is still, setting you know, up. setting up, yeah. let me just tell you about a couple of um, events that happened here. Bodum was here. He does once a month. And of course, we have Afropolitan Vibes, which I can boast today in Lagos is the most popular show that is done monthly. The last time we had that kind of show was when Motherland was open and there was Lagwaja. Afropolitan okay. Vibes, third uh, Friday of the month. I think the next one is on the 15th of, um, of May. Please come. They're not going to charge you 10,000 naira. They're not going to charge you 1 million naira for tables. They're not, all they're going to tell you to do is buy palm wine. And, I'm, and palm wine is for your, benef for your benefit. So what else do you we're want to say? We're going all Africa. Now, you're going to get in this um, more. You were saying something about uh, radio stations not doing justice. Hey, on my station, Metro 97.7 .7 FM, we have a jazz show, and it's on every Sunday it's from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's called Jazz Roundtable. So if you want to have a piece of that, you can listen. Just tune in. I am Shashay Jodhiko, and I'm representing Metro 97.7 .7 FM. So let's do all we can to propagate jazz because it is healing for our soul. Of course, with all the music we've listened to today, I will tell you that I have had some therapy. We've moved from cold water to dancing and massaging my body as I was moving. So if you have not started tuning into that, hey, start doing that right now. We're still waiting up for Lake on Babalola oh, yes. and the Echo Brass Band. And of course, I hope you're having a good, good time. It's a beautiful night. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Metro FM. A round of applause for Metro FM. Now, for those of you that don't know, Metro FM is one of the foremost FM stations. They were number, they were, I think they were called uh, RN2 or something like that. That's where you had uh, the likes of Fredo Shodi, uh, Patrick O'K, so many of those guys. When we were young, that was the station we listened to. And I remember a particular program called Pop, uh, Pop, uh, Pop Around the World or something like that. An awesome show. Metro FM has still kept up with the tradition of playing great music. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if there are any other FM stations here, Another station too that I think that are supporting this event, Cool FM. Yeah. Yeah, Cool yeah. FM too. Yeah. They do, they play great music. You understand? Uh, Smooth FM. Have Lekon Babalola featuring the Echo Brass Band. A round of applause for them, everybody.
exhale. Inhale. Exhale.
Hello, Lagos. Big hand for Eko Brasda. Taiwo Alabi. Onsaka, big hand for him. Da Silva, okay. On Teledrum. Mr. Yemi, on our bass drum. Wale on tuba. Godwin on first trombone. Wale, Wale on second trombone. Please clap for the decision, please. Tunde Adeoye, second trumpet. Kainde Alabi, second trumpet. Our principal trumpet, Mr. Gide Augustine. Our band leader, Mr. Pascal Bolaji. Lagos International Jazz Festival. Are you enjoying it? Uh, what we've been playing for you is the sacred Nigerian music. The aim and objective of the Echo Brass Band is to celebrate Nigerian composers. How about that? Big hand. Uh, we are now going to bring another musician that we've been working with. Uh, we did work with him last year, he's from New York, uh, great musician, great composer. We did a project with him, um, it's new, his new album called Alone Be Married. Please go out and buy it. Uh, we've been playing from the sacred uh, religious music, you know, as I told you, our job is to celebrate Nigerian composers. Our first song we play, uh, Aladura, which is a medley of Aladura music. Second, second song, Igwe, uh, by Midnight Express. Is that right, Pascal? Yeah. Midnight Crew. Our third song uh, we play entitled to Majoba Law. By God. Okay, now we're going to play the music of uh, our guest. Please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, give a big welcome to Mr. Wale Alade on tennis Thank you. Thank you. 
that describe where we're from. We're from down the road. Campus Square. Big hand to the members of the Echo Brands and thank you.
Now, um, oh wow, it's loud. We are going to play um, another style of Nigerian music by a Nigerian composer. <laughs> this time we are going to go into the contemporary. That was uh, Fanti. And now we are going to play something for you. It's always for you, it's about you, remember. We're not going to salute our great mentor, great composer, fantastic architect of uh, music. Oh man, it was uh, somebody I really like, I we really like. Uh, we are going to play the music of great fella, Anikola Kofusi. <laughs> We are going to feature great musician also who are uh, who worked with Fela, Mr. Fagwini, aka Showboy. Oh, I want to be like, 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 oh, I want to be like,